Hello, everyone. Welcome to Apocalypse Movies. I am Jacob Bartley, and this is my most anticipated movies for 2023. It's going to be a crazy year in 2023 uh, because a lot of movies got pushed back, not just from one year, but from several years during those pandemic days. So we're going to be flooded with movies for the next two or three years. And this is kind of a result of that. So let's jump right into it. All right, coming in at number 10. This is a movie that I had to get on there. And that is The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Now, look, I am not the biggest Hunger Games fan. But when this book came out, I was kind of obsessed with it. It's not the best book in the world, but I really enjoyed it. And we're going to see uh, Cornelius Snow in his younger days. And I just love the some of the castings for this movie. Being that I loved that book so much, which I never read the other Hunger Games books, which is crazy, but I really liked this one. And I always thought that they can make a great adaptation of this book. So I'm very much looking forward to it. So yes, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Can't wait for this movie. Comes out at the end of 2023. Very much looking forward to it. And coming in at number nine, and that is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I'm going to say something that might seem crazy, but I am not the biggest Indiana Jones fan in the world. I absolutely love the movies. A few of them are masterpieces. The original trilogy is all-time classics. Harrison Ford is amazing. He's one of the biggest movie stars of all time. I love those movies, but I'm not like the die-hard Indiana Jones guy. This movie was coming out, and I'm... I'm not sure what to feel about it, but then you attach James Mangold to the project and he's my favorite director working today. You get him involved and then, you know, we hear these other elements coming in and then the trailer comes out and I'm just like, all right, James Mangold doing an Indiana Jones film. I'm all in and I can't wait for this movie, to be honest. Number eight, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. That first animated film came out of surprise and shocked everyone including myself, and that new trailer came out recently, which I did a reaction to, and I was blown away. Whatever's going on in this movie looks like a lot of fun, sticking with that charisma and heart of the first movie, but building upon it and kind of going a little bit more crazier. It's a Spider-Verse, Multiverse story, so obviously there's going to be a little bit of insanity in there, but I'm very much looking forward to this. Love the look from the new trailer. Can't wait to see what they do with this movie. And number seven, The Marvels. This is Captain Marvel 2, for those who didn't know. I'm a huge Captain Marvel fan. I was so excited for the original Captain Marvel movie. And while I think it's good, I think it could have been a lot better. So I'm glad we're getting a new director this time around. And I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Hopefully they can deliver something, even though I'm a little turned off of the idea that this is not a Captain Marvel, straight up Captain Marvel, just about her movie. It's going to be an ensemble film. And I'm okay with that. I like the other characters involved, but this movie could have been way higher on my most anticipated list if it was just going to be a pure Captain Marvel movie. But I'm okay with what we're getting and what this possibly can be and obviously it's an mcu film so i'm very very much looking forward to it and number six guardians of the galaxy volume three another mcu film back to back look it's this is james gunn james gunn's swan song in the mcu uh most likely his last project that he's gonna do for them being that he's head of dc now This movie, the trailer looks great. That the Guardians Christmas special was amazing. You know, it only elevated my excitement for it, especially coming off of Guardians 2, which I kind of had mixed mixed reactions on like a lot of people did. So to see that this movie, uh, that he's still on his game with the Guardians Christmas special, and then they got this movie coming with a bunch of stuff going on in here. Um, They're looking for Gamora. You got the um, Adam Warlock in the movie, which can't wait to see what they do with that character. And who knows what's going to happen. James Gunn has said this is the last time we're going to see this group of Guardians characters together. We're going to be in for some crazy stuff, for some crazy changes going forward with this franchise. And I can't wait to see how it all comes to fruition in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And number five, John Wick Chapter 4. I wanted to get this movie higher on the list, but I just couldn't. I was blown away by John Wick Chapter 3. It is one of my favorite movie-going experiences 
that I've ever had. I was just in awe watching this. It was just like a nonstop action scene. And I was floored. And I like the first two John Wick movies, especially the first one. But I'm, I, I was not expecting to be completely blown away by John Wick chapter three. And it did. So now that I love that movie so much, I, I think that movie is the best and hand to hand combat movie I've ever seen. And that's not, I haven't seen the raid movies. I haven't seen everything, but from my personal experience, it is. And now the next installment in that franchise is coming. Come on now, John Wick chapter four, I, anything involving this franchise, especially following the John Wick character, I'm all in. I mean, I'm down for the spinoffs too, but this is a John Wick movie. Give me it. I cannot wait for this movie. And number four, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1. Kind of like what I said about John Wick Chapter 3, Mission Impossible Fallout is my favorite Mission Impossible movie. I think it was the best one and it delivered on all cylinders. Henry Cavill was absolutely incredible in that movie. Obviously, he's not going to be around for this one, but the Mission Impossible franchise has become something truly special. It is the better version of the Fast and Furious franchise, meaning that like it was a franchise that started off a little rocky and then it just found its footing and became a juggernaut in Hollywood. But except all of these last three or four films have been fantastic and Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 looks amazing. How can you not be excited uh, about what Tom Cruise is going to do next with doing these practical stunts in his movies. Bless him for doing that, that for us and giving it to the fans. I absolutely cannot wait for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. It's going to be one hell of a thrill ride. This movie might surprise people. I mean, maybe not. Number three, most anticipated for 2023 is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Now, you got to understand me. I love Paul Rudd. I loved Paul Rudd. Ever since uh, Clueless and his old Great Gatsby movie, and especially in the 40-year-old version. So when he was cast as Scott Lang, I was over the moon. Then I absolutely love the first Ant-Man movie. Ant-Man and the Wasp is okay. His role in Avengers Endgame is incredible. He's one of the most pivotal characters in the entire MCU at that in that movie. And I still think Ant-Man, he's great in Civil War too. I still think Paul Rudd as Ant-Man is underappreciated but not by me. I cannot wait for this movie, especially because Kang the Conqueror is going to be the villain or the antagonist, whatever you want to call him, whatever's going on in this movie. It's going to be something different. It's mainly spent in the quantum realm, which is how do you differentiate yourself from the first two movies? Put a whole movie in the quantum realm. And I think this movie is going to be something special. I think this is going to be the Ant-Man movie that people are like, oh my goodness, that movie was fantastic. Like never thought an Ant-Man movie could be something so great. And I think that's what we're going to be saying when we walk out of this film. So yes, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania is my number three most anticipated movie. Number two is Dune Part Two. I cannot wait for this. I'm sure a lot of us here at Apocalypse are going to have this movie pretty high on this list. Denis Villeneuve is one of the best directors working today, if not the best. And Dune solidified that. It brought back this special feeling of movies in cinema. It was a huge blockbuster spectacle. Even though it's not an original property, it felt very fresh. I think Dune, the Dune franchise is something that Hollywood needs. And I cannot wait to see the next installment in this. You have Florence Pugh playing the princess. You have Austin Butler in this movie as well. I love both of them. So I cannot wait for Dune Part 2 especially building off all everything that happened in the first movie and all the characters absolutely at the top of my list. And my number one most anticipated movie for 2023 is a movie that was also my number one last year, but it was delayed. And I'm hoping that it comes out this year. And that is Killers of the Flower Moon. This is the Martin Scorsese directed Leonardo DiCaprio starring novel adaptation being done by Apple and they are actually it's going to be a theatrical release first and then it's going to go to Apple TV. I'm a huge Martin Scorsese fan but Leonardo DiCaprio is my favorite actor of all time. He doesn't work a lot so when he has a project coming out it's instantly going to be at the top of my list and this material that they're putting out kind of like a detective noir story love that for this movie and for Scorsese and DiCaprio to do together. So yes, Killers of the Flower Moon is my number one most anticipated movie for 2023. 
And that's going to do it for my most anticipated movies for the year of 2023. Let me know what you thought of my list. Keep an eye out for all the other guys' lists. You're going to see all of our lists on the YouTube channel coming out here in the next couple of days. We're also going to be doing our top movies for 2022, just giving ourselves a little bit more time to uh, catch some of those films last minute. So yes, don't forget to check out all the goodness here to wrap up 2022 for Apocalypse Movies. Thank you again for watching. Again, I'm Jacob Bartley. See you later.